Hi, this is Linda from KC Creations, taking you on a tour of the Pirate's Journal. It measures 9 by 6. It does have a hard cover. I have put gold metal corner protectors on all four ends. The ribbon is kind of a burgundy. It is wired, so if it does get crushed, you can just fluff it back out. Here we have three pieces of eight. They are gold also with some antique lace. The little cards in the front. The pocket is here, which completes the image behind it. All of the cards and tags throughout the journal are backed with another layer of cardstock, so they're very durable. This one has a little anchor and uh, the wheel on the ship as a charm. Here's the pirate lady, another piece of eight. And the little bulb pins work just like safety pins. You can open them up, add something, remove something, whatever you would like. Here's a shell with the skull and crossbones. There is pirates, they're fighting on the beach. Starfish. Here's a lady pirate. Maybe it's Anne Bonnie, who knows. It does have a four inch spine. All the streamers here are colors that I have used throughout the journal. It does have three sections, which is tied on with the twine so that you can slide them out and slide them back in very easily. There's also two cards on the spine. They are backed as well, so they're very, very strong. As a closure, there's kind of a seafoam green chiffon ribbon. I have finished the ends so that they thread through the large eyelet here very easily. the first section, Pirates of Penzance. Its closure is a burgundy chiffon ribbon. I have fussy cut out the ship here to serve as a pocket for these cards. And again, it completes the image that's underneath. We've got a pirate ship, fish, sailboat, leaving the big ship. There's an anchor and an anchor charm. Skull and crossbones. It has a pull out from the side. The map, some pictures of some pirates. Up. Here we have an angled pocket up at the top. Two more pieces of gold. It says buried treasure. It holds these two tags. Treasure chest. Pirate. On this side we have a band here that holds these big cards in place. A pirate and his lady friend. There's a pirate with treasure chest. They're burying it. Opens again. Got a little pocket here. It says Jolly Roger. It's all kinds of sea creatures. It's a little tag from the side. Fanny Campbell, the female pirate. It says fire the cannons. It's a little tuck spot for this skull and crossbones. And here we have the sinking of the pirate Alabama. There's a ship. On this side, this pocket that I have made is also a replica of what is underneath it, so it completes the picture. A little medallion there, some pirates.
pirates, another starfish, opens this way, we've got a half a circle pocket there with a pirate, boarding a ship, Here, this has a Velcro closure, opens up, here, <clears throat> excuse me, here's a cannon, it says fire the cannons, two parts, here is a little notepad, it's got many pages of paper in it for you to write on, opens up again, it's got an angled pocket, this little tag is a pocket in itself. It opens up like this. It's got a little tag here in the front. It opens up. You've got a vellum pocket there that holds these little tags. has its little tag there. It's got a little pull there, jute. It opens up and you've got more little tags here in another vellum pocket. They're just miniatures of the larger images throughout the journal. This one opens up again. We've got another little card there. up and again it's got a vellum pocket and some little tags. And here is a nice journaling space. Here we have a vellum pocket it. I've added this little decoration here. It says Land Lovers and Shanghai. It holds these two cards. There's plenty of room. You could stick something else in there if you wanted. It just folds back up. Next section, I've made a hidden paper clip. It just fits over the end of your cover there it is decorated on both sides and the paper clip in there will hold any kind of tag or anything you want to stick under there and a little tag here and it'll just hold it right in place and you can move it around if you want this next section got a fold out here It. Again, it completes this picture. A little fish charm. Opens again. And the little fold back holds this little tag. Skull and crossbones. Here we have some lace covered with the vellum pocket here. It says, I, I Captain. Holds two wee little tags. We have these three tags here. On this side, this is free floating. It holds three little tags. Crab, there's another piece of eight, and we've got an octopus. I've put eyelets in each of the ends and tied them with twine. 
as your closure to hold the little flap shut. This side, it's a mirror image. As you see, it's folded the same. This little pocket finishes the picture that's underneath. There's a little shell charm. It opens up. Skull and crossbones. And on this side, we've got another vellum pocket with the lace. It says Shiver Me Timbers. And it's got two neat little tags. Three cards also. There's the picture in the background. There's a treasure map. Pirates. Some lady pirates. Next section, its closure is a blue chiffon ribbon. We've got a vellum pocket underneath. This little bay rum serves as a tuck spot for these little tags. A little pirate skeleton with a pirate hat. And then these tags come out of here a little ship's wheel, got some antique lace, it has a pull out from the side, lots of journaling space in this one, Once again, I've left this unembellished for you to add whatever you would like. Here's another pocket. It says Sell the Seven Seas. It's a tech spot for these little tags. And it holds these two cards. It's a little boat. And a map. There's the Lady Pirate. And again, I cut the pocket where it finished out the picture that's underneath. Bring it again. I've cut out this cannon here to serve as a tuck spot for these cards. Here we have an acetate window. It says Shiver Me Timbers. It's got a little shell. Pulls out this card. You can see the pirate underneath. fits between the cardstock. Open it up. You've got to pull out from this side. It's a seaward hoe. Here is an angled band that holds these cards. It's buried treasure. There's a pull out from the top. Up. Behind the parrot and this little medallion, I glued them together to make a tuck spot for these cards. The lady pirate. Here we have a pocket. It says, again, sail the seven seas. Got little tickets. Again, I've cut the pocket where it finishes the image in the background. Got a card here. Two pirates. Here's the cannon. There's a ship with a skull. Opens again. Behind this ship here that I've cut out, it holds these two little cards. This is tied with twine. This is jute. 
we have a tiny little tag that fits under that part of the sail. It's a little cannon. Here we have a band. It's held shut by the key. It says marooned. There's little cards in here. Lady Pirate. Welcome aboard. Here they are fighting on the beach. As pirates do. This opens up. And you've got these large cards here. Beautiful beach, cove. There is a pirate upscounding with one of the ladies from the town. Let's turn it. In the back is where your actual journal is. It's held to the back cover with this antique grass clip. Here is a corner out. There we go. This is to hold your pen or pencil. Fits right down through the hole. Here is an envelope. I've left it empty for you to store photos, notes, whatever kind of memorabilia you might want to tuck into your journal. Here we have lots of pages. They're decorative and unlined. All of the images here are ones that have been used throughout the journal. That concludes our tour. Thank you so much for joining me.